Hello, good day, and welcome to my Books and Business Monday video. I'm Monica Hill, and this is my YouTube channel where I talk about books and business on Mondays, on Tuesdays, do-it-yourself projects on Wednesdays, my hair journey to grow my hair all the way to waist length, and it hasn't been feeling as moisturized as it had been, but I will be trying fenugreek on this Wednesday. So we'll talk about, or I'll talk about that in a couple of days. On Thursdays, I talk about music and poetry. On Fridays, my fun fitness challenges. And on Saturdays, spiritual food. And on Sundays, my vegan journey. Me trying to become vegan, my journey. But today I want to share a book with you that I talked about. I'm very proud of my videos and I'm proud of my channel and the content that I put out. I think that it's not just some trash and just, you know, me talking about <clears throat> any old thing and whatever comes to my mind. But I try to encourage life and living and in different areas to eat healthy to exercise to to read to you know to just to live and to have things going on in your life be creative and do healthy things and journal and try try different things and new things okay so i'm very proud of my channel and while I know I'm not looking so glorious lately, I have not been wearing makeup or earrings. I'm just embracing my beauty, the beauty that God has given me without the added anything, jewelry, makeup, whatever. But I want to say I was thinking how proud I was of my channel and some of my videos got deleted. I was trying to delete one video that was not uploading. And for some reason, if you ever upload videos on YouTube, you'll know that you can click one box and it will highlight all of your videos or you can click an individual video when you want to delete something. And this particular day, I was deleting one video. I noticed that some other boxes have been clicked, but I never checked. Yes, I understand and I agree to these terms because it gives you a warning saying that when you delete a video, it will never be, you will not be able to restore it. And I didn't click that box when I went to delete the video, but I noticed some other videos were highlighted really quickly, but I didn't not push delete. I pushed delete anyway, and I hurry up and closed out the app. So I guess during that short amount of time, it deleted 21 of my videos. And so, there were a few videos that were really important. One of them was my 100th mark, my 100th video. And I celebrated by leaving a message that I can still access the message and repost it, that God will take care of you. And I may do that. Another video that was really important was a video that I was leaving for Tabitha Brown, congratulating her when she won an award and just thanking her and her husband for the leadership, even though she may feel like she's just pursuing her dreams, I feel like that she is in a leadership position and she is influencing and encouraging and motivating and tries to inspire a lot of us on a daily basis. So I was thanking her and I thought that was very important. So I may leave another message for her. And let me see, there was another video. One video, I, I just was dancing with my grandchildren. And I thought that was special. We did the old version of Father Abraham, like I used to do it when I was growing up. And then we did the newer version. So, but there was another video in particular that I thought was very important. Oh, there was the Mink Hole Hair Cell product review that I did. And I just have been blessed by Shashika Tyree Hill and her ministry. And it was very special when she sent me my products. She also sent me a couple gift cards. She's so giving. And I just thought that was really special to me. And I wanted to make sure that I, I left a review. That's the least that I could do. That video got deleted, but I still have a copy of when I made the video. So I just have to edit it again. And there was another video where I did my all-in-one paint review, Heirloom Traditions products, where I painted couches. And I think that one was deleted. So I may 
upload those four videos. If there are any videos that you have seen that you notice are not there and you would like me to redo, just let me know. And if it's important to you, I will upload it. But I was getting a lot of views on the Mink Hole Hair Cell product review. Okay, so I just want to say I was very proud thinking how well I feel and how proud I am of myself for doing my videos and not just making videos, but having the content that I have and thinking it out and planning it and writing it down. And so God showed me that I can do it even better. So I'm going to try to focus on, even with my different topics each week, a theme. And so the theme this week is going to be about boundaries. And I feel like I'm pretty creative and I can do that. So how will I use boundaries? I'm not necessarily going to use this book, but I'm going to use the theme of boundaries. How will I use that in my do-it-yourself project? Well, if you looked a few videos back, you will see where I'm going to be redoing a canvas, a, a picture that I'm going to hang on my wall and it already has lines and shapes. And so that's how I will use boundaries because I think boundaries are lines. And my Saturday spiritual message about mask, not necessarily the mask we're wearing for COVID, but about the mask that we put on sometimes as human beings when we have to deal with people and situations that we really don't like and really don't want to be bothered with are just our inconvenience and uncomfortable for us. Sometimes we wear masks and so I used the book in that uh, video. And today, here we are, here I am talking about my Monday books and business video. So we're gonna talk about the book. So I'm gonna suggest that if you've never read the book, that you would read the book. I'm moving into the second chapter. I just read one chapter so far. And the second chapter, I believe, is talking about what are boundaries, gonna explain what boundaries are. And um, so that's gonna be my book for today to encourage you to read or even if you have read the book please leave a comment of what you learned from the book and how valuable it was to you has it been valuable in your life what have you learned from it what would you suggest that people would focus on if they read the book okay and as far as business is concerned i just want to say i want to really really encourage you as an individual, even if you're in a relationship, even if you're married, even if you have a, a group of people that you feel like you belong to, that um, keep you going, that motivate you, whether it's your family, your friends, a group, a, a community group, or an association, I want to talk to you as an individual and encourage you to Think about how well you take care of yourself. If you take care of yourself better than anyone else, I think that God is pleased. We as individuals have responsibilities, especially if you're a mother, a wife, a daughter, whatever you know the situation may be. But if you don't take care of yourself, you can't possibly be the best daughter the best mother, the best wife, the best friend, the best roommate, the best student, the best worker, if you're not taking the best care of yourself. So with that said, I just want to encourage you to not depend on other things and other people to take care of you. When I say to take care of you, I'm not talking about providing financially. That is a way to so-called take care of people, but money really is a tool that we use. But I'm talking about a deeper issue. I'm talking about taking care of your body, of your mind, of your taking control of your life and de deciding what you need to do if you need to learn something new. You don't have to necessarily pay thousands of dollars to go to an institution. You can do research, go to libraries, look on Google, look on YouTube, do research and, and take the initiative to improve your life, improve your spiritual 
relationships, improve your, when I say relationships, I'm meaning with God, with yourself, with the Holy Spirit. When I talk about improving your life and your health and, you know, eating right and exercising and your mind, when you think about your life and your upbringing and how things shaped you and molded you, shaped the way you see things, the way you see people, the way you think about things, what you believe, what you don't believe. Sometimes just because you didn't have it or that's what you were taught doesn't make it the truth and it doesn't make it right. So as we grow, we have to grow as we get older and as the days pass and we have more experiences we should we should be growing and we should be seeking to be the best that we can be and to keep evolving to keep growing to not feel like this is where i need to be this is where i have worked to be all my life and then you get there and then you feel like what is this you know is this what I wanted? Is this what life is all about? You should continue to grow and continue to thrive and continue to have new experiences and continue to even have struggles and, and things that will test your faith and that will bring challenges to you and will grow you. That is my advice for myself and for you. And as I said, this is the book that I hope that you will read if you have not read it. And if you have, please share. I hope that you have been blessed by my video today. Thank you for watching my video and tune in tomorrow for my Do It Yourself Tuesday project. God bless you.